What's going on guys? We are back in the shop today with more awesome BDS content for you. So now this is going to be a four and a half inch lift for the 11 to 19 GM 2500 trucks, gassers or diesels. This one happens to be going on this 2015 diesel that you see behind me. So the four and a half is gonna be a lot like the six and a half just turned down. We'll kind of walk through the parts that we got going on here, show you what it looks like. And then as always, we'll show you what it looks like on the truck, but we'll start, we'll start over here. So we've got our front and rear drop cross members. Now for the GM trucks, this does include a rear mount for the front differential. So that's tied right into the rear cross member. We've got our front diff skid plate, front end skid plate, and as, as well as a supplementary skid plate slash brace that's gonna go between these two drop cross members, just really stiffening up that front end. Over here, we've got our new lift knuckles cast as always. And then this truck is gonna be a non-torsion drop. That means once it's lifted, you won't see the torsion bars hanging down there. Everything's gonna be tucked up nice. So that requires these fancy little blocks right here. These are gonna bolt on top of the factory control arm, relocate or keep the torsion bar where it is while being able to drop the control arm itself. Uh, we've got more diff drop brackets back here. All of the support on the differential on these trucks. Uh, miscellaneous hardware bushings, so everything works together. And then this one has been upgraded to the Fox shocks. We've got our Fox 2.0s up front and the ones for the rear. Now the rear of this truck, normally you'd have a big old block for the back. This is gonna be a two inch block. Now on this truck, we're gonna turn this four inch down as much as possible, but you know we're still gonna get four inches of lift out of the front, so we only need two inches in the rear to keep it level. New U-bolts, new hardware for that as well. So. Very basic kit, um, a few of the upgrades here, like including the Fox shocks. This one's gonna come with an NX2 steering stabilizer. This one doesn't have the factory steering dampener, so we're adding that in, uh, as well as some new brake lines. So instead of dropping the brake lines on the front, we're just replacing it with some new stainless steel braided lines. As always, you know, highest quality coming out of BDS, so we're gonna get started, get this thing thrown in the truck and show you what it looks like. So now we got the BDS kit installed, we'll go through it a little bit. Starting up in the front here, uh, right out front, obviously we've got our BDS lift knuckle. Now, unlike the 1500s, the 2500s are not gonna increase track width, so you'll see no spacers on our CV axles or anything like that. This keeps the factory geometry, which means you also don't need wheel spacers in the back to keep an even track width. Here we've got our new sway bar end links, much beefier than the stock ones. Uh, beyond that, you can see our drop cross members with all of our skid plates, all of the protection on these GM 2500 trucks. The big splash guard in the front replaces the factory plastic one. And then we've got our bigger skid plate underneath the diff and also one underneath the differential four wheel drive actuator on the other side. Now, in addition to these protecting everything, they also stiffen up our cross members, our front and rear drop cross members, as you see here. Front differential is actually tied into the cross member as well, so much stronger than factory. Uh, over here, you can see our non-torsion drop brackets with our new tor with our old torsion bars installed in those bad boys, rounding it out with our Fox shocks. Now, you'll also see we added in the steering dampener, and obviously this is not stock steering. We opted to go with a kryptonite full death grip steering kit on this truck, make this thing absolutely rock solid, no issues as we throw these 14 wides on. Back here, super basic, as we talked about on the bench, only a two inch block in this one. You know, there's your blocks and your U-bolts and your Fox shocks. That's all that's required in this, in the rear end of this truck. As you can see, we put a diff cover on this one. So we had to modify those a little bit. They are still, you know, where they were, but that has nothing to do with the lift kit. That is 100% to do with the rear diff. So that is it for the four and a half inch kits on this 
2015 Silverado 2500. Remember, these fit 11 to 19 2500s. They also have them for other uh, makes and models, as well as the newer GM HD trucks. So if you're looking for a lift for yours, head on over to customoffsets.com, check out BDS, a lot of great products, and we'll catch you next time.